Hello, this is XCOM, and I'm just doing a quick video about a small bug discovery that uh, has been plaguing me all day because I was working on V3, this machine behind me. You've probably seen it on stream. I was breaking bedrock, and I wanted to improve this, and we, me and Pingu worked on this for many countless hours to, f to improve the details about this machine. Uh, but I was stuck today because of this stupid bug, and it took me the whole day to figure it out. So I'm sharing it just because any someone else might actually bump into this bug. And I've been uh, under assumption that when you're actually inside of this chunk, or when you're traveling on this minecart, for example, minecart track, and you want to assume that exactly 16 blocks in either direction is loaded by the player when you're inside of this on this rail track, then uh, everything's fine. But there is a silly bug in the game that I wasn't aware that took my um, an entire day, um, took me the whole day to figure this one out. Because we are in the negative region of Z, if you uh, pay attention to this number, th we are in the negative region of Z coordinates. It doesn't matter where in the, in the negative uh, region of Z we are, just as that we are in the Z coordinates. Uh, the game truncates, basically runs towards the closest to zero value. And that means that if you're actually standing on this block over here, then you're inside of this chunk. But if you, if you actually stand on this green line, you're still standing on the block within this chunk, but when you're here on this block, you actually belong to this chunk over here. So everything is offset by one block uh, when you're when you're in the negative region. So when you're in a negative region, everything is offset by one block. The same thing doesn't apply on this uh, axis, on the x-axis, because it's a positive axis. Um, it will it, the same thing would actually happen if we actually go to the negative x coordinates. Everything will be offset by one block as well, and it always offsets closest towards zero so so if you're standing here the chunk that is closer to zero will actually swallow up an entire block from the chunk that you're standing inside of so anything that is closer to zero and then when you reach zero the, the chunk that is actually on the border actually gains an extra block so it actually is 17 chunks wide so this kind of threw me off because i was like playing um playing on an assumption that when you're on this track, then you're pretty much loading 16 chunks in that direction, and 16 chunks in that direction. But because you're inside, inside of this block over here, you actually belong to this chunk, and you're actually loading 17 chunks in that direction and 15 chunks in that direction when you're in on this block here. So just to make a diagram, just to make things much clearer, because it's much easier to see stuff um, plain sight, when you're in the X and Z coordinates that are positive, everything is perfectly fine, nothing is changed. When you're in the negative X coordinates, then everything is shifted towards, closest towards zero uh, coordinates. This is like the zero coordinate of X, this plane over here. So everything is shifted one block towards the zero co uh, coordinates. And if you're in the both negative and uh, X and Z, then everything is shifted over yet again, but twice in, in both the axes, and the same thing for the Z. Another thing to keep in mind when you're actually building these sensitive machines is that uh, the game actually updates your po uh, position or chunk map around you uh, every eight blocks that you've traveled. Whenever you log into the game, the game memorizes the location for you, and then you have to walk eight blocks from that location, and then the chunk map is updated. Let's say that I just randomly decided to walk to this spot over here, and now I'm standing over here. Now the game actually memorizes this new location and updates the chunk map around me. Given I haven't actually walked out of, out of this chunk and I was standing inside of, then the chunk map doesn't update. But if I were to move into this chunk over here and stand on this block, then I haven't walked actually eight blocks from that location over there yet. So the chunk map doesn't update. So I actually have to walk a little bit further, maybe to over here. Now I'm eight blocks from that location. Now the game will memorize this location and update the chunk map around me from this location, from this chunk. So it doesn't actually, uh, it, it's not enough for me to just walk across the chunk border. I actually need to walk eight blocks away from the unknown, mysterious uh, location that uh, the game memorizes. General rule of thumb, it means that if you want to actually build a device and you want to make sure that 16 chunks around you is loaded, walk eight blocks inside of this chunk. Just walk around a little bit and it should be fine. And keep one one block away from the chunk borders if you're in the negative region. The last detail about this chunk loading stuff is that I'm 
packets needs to be sent from the client to the server. And it's kind of critical because sometimes you're actually sitting inside of a minecart, for example, and you travel. Let's say that you're traveling inside of a minecart. Even if you're inside of the minecart, the player's position changes on the server, but if the packets from the client doesn't go from the client to the server, the actually the actual chunk map doesn't actually update. So the chunk map doesn't update until the client sends the ser the server the packet. So it, sometimes your your connection might be bad. Sometimes um, there is uh, the server is uh, tick warping or can't receive uh, any packets because it's lagging. And that can cause issues for their device. So in this case, in, in V3, it caused a lot of issues for the machine. So the best way to combat this is to make sure that your server doesn't lag and you have really good connections towards your server. And other than that, there is no way to actually fix this problem. So your position actually updates whenever the player is uh, sending the packet from the client to the server. And that's when the, the processing of the chunk map updates happen. So in case you're building a very sensitive machine, keep all those things in mind. It's kind of complicated. There's a lot of things to keep in mind, but that's how it works, I guess, in vanilla. So hopefully uh, you will take some good use out of this knowledge and don't spend the whole day <laughs> trying to fix your machine that isn't actually broke uh, just because you're in the negative region. So in my, for me, it, it just means that I just have to take my machine, uh, this machine over here, and move it to the positive region. And for the negative regions, I have to redesign it slightly, uh, offset by one block, and that should be fine. So uh, that's that. Goodbye.